I usually don't say good morning because it's I'm at good work. Good morning. Ken just got back from a workout. Um, two hours. Rev is here. Rev is here. <laughs> yep, we're babysitting Rev, and Kenzie had a super early workout this morning. Yeah, it's 8:30 and I got home at 6:30, so I've been home a couple hours. But you guys, it was a tough one. It was good. Yeah, it's also snowing outside. Again. Like, Again. what is this weather? Just look at this. May the 4th be with you. Oh, snow. oh yeah. yeah. Happy May the 4th. Star Wars Day. What are we going to do for Star Wars Day? I mean, I don't know. I have stunt practice tonight, so. What do you want me to make you guys for dinner? Um, some Jabba the Hutt pizza. Some lightsaber breadsticks. I have no idea. What? Chicken waka? No, chicken waka. You silly goose. <laughs> no, that's not that's definitely a bad word. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. He's into this thing where he's like, is that a bad word? Every word he'll ask us. So, I mean, it's good he's learning, so. But I've got to get off to work. Love you, babe. Love you. I got lots of laundry and cleaning to do, but it's okay. Okay. Oh. Have a good day. Love you. Drive safe um, in your van in the snow. So I was just telling Cody at the gym today, we did a 100s day. So every movement we did, we did it a hundred times. Full range squats, bench press, all the things, weighted calf raises and stuff like that. 100, you guys, by like 50, 60 of each movement, my body kind of just went numb, especially like the back rows or the bench press, my arms were just numb. But it was awesome. It felt so good to get a good burn in. And then I'm trying this new thing that I have been seeing everywhere that apparently is like killer for weight loss. After you do your weightlifting, which I do an hour of weightlifting, they say to get on a treadmill, crank it up to the highest incline and walk for 20 minutes. So I did that today too after my weightlifting class and it was super awesome. So now I'm just taking my vitamins, making breakfast for the three littles for Kinley, Cohen and Rev. I already got the three older boys off to school, but you guys, I think it's gonna be an awesome day. Kenley has her end of the year testing today, huh? You're leaving preschool and going to kindergarten. Yay! <laughs> um, you guys, one thing about Ken, first thing she does when she wakes up in the morning, she puts on a leotard. Look at this cool one. Pulls out her beam and her tumbling mat, huh? I love it, and then today she added the mini ears. It's beautiful, okay, let's keep going. We're practicing writing our numbers one through 20. You're doing so good, sis. Cohen, are you obsessed with that outfit? Yeah. I've washed it like four times this week. Every time I dress him, we get home, and what do you do? Do you change back into it? He's obsessed with this. Ooh, sis, what did we do to your hair today? Turn, let me see. We did two French braids. That's beautiful. Are you ready for your test? Yeah. Do you feel prepared, like you know all your stuff? Yeah. Good. Kindergarten. You're excited? I'm gonna miss you, but I'm so excited for you. You're gonna have so much fun, huh? Revy girl, did you want pigtails like Ken? Let me see. Oh, those are so pretty, sis. <laughs> She's so cute,
made it home from McKinley's testing and now I am doing some laundry while Cohen takes a nap. But you guys, I had to show you what I just found in my dryer because I thought it was hilarious. I'm just switching the laundry and these were all in my dryer. All these pencil top erasers. My money is on Carson for this one. But you guys vote right now in the comments. Whose pockets do you think these came out of? And we will see when they get home from school. Okay, I like tipped over. These three boys just made it home from school. Mm -hmm. So, I had the subscribers take a guess in the comments. I was doing laundry today and I found something in the dryer. Mm -hmm. I wanna know whose pocket it came out of. Mine. Carson. <laughs> I knew it, Cars. That's a lot of erasers, bud. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> Make sure you clean out your pockets, okay? Did they all guess it? I don't know. We'll have to see when we post the vlog tomorrow. Let's be with you. But I guessed it. I knew. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm just going over the family calendars here. First of all, we just realized the kids only have 16 days of school left, which is crazy town. But also within those last few weeks here, listen to all of these events we have. Canyon has a big class field trip. We have Kinley's fifth birthday and birthday party. McKinley's last day of school and her preschool graduation. She has her end of the year dance recital. Those are like four days in a row. We have a baby shower for my sister-in-law. We have, Coda has a big school service project. Carson has a huge cultural celebration. That'll be kind of a family affair. He's performing and Cody and I are making a video of that night. Coda has a fourth grade barbecue. They have, all three boys have a school swim day, their last day of school. Coda has his middle school tour. We have so many big events coming up. And then not only that, we were totally just reminded today, there's a big Battle of the Books finale tonight. So Dakota and Carson are in this club called Battle of the Books. They have a different book every month that they read. And then they get together and kind of like play a trivia game to see who knows the book the best. They are having the finale tonight and they're asking questions from all five books and parents are encouraged to be there. So that's another event. And then Dakota just reminded me that I didn't write his main fourth grade event on the calendar, which is his fourth grade rendezvous. So that's coming up as well. And Cody will be going on that with him. So you guys, holy smokes. And then, <laughs> look at this. So their last day of school is the 26th. And then we go camping that weekend for Memorial Day. We're home for one weekend. Then we have a family vacation in Lake Las Vegas. We're home for another weekend. And then I go to cheer camp in St. George and then the family's coming down to join me for the rest of the weekend. I feel like we're not even gonna be home in June. I know. That is crazy town. And I'm seriously just praying that we have our family vehicle back for all of those fun trips. <laughs> we're gonna be getting rental vehicles again. You guys, we haven't given a car update on my van. This Friday, so two days, will be eight weeks that I haven't had my car. Our main family vehicle, we haven't had for eight weeks. I think we're getting closer. Um, we finally got it taken to a shop that was like ready to get work done. They figured out the problem. They figured out the point of failure. We got all of the paperwork submitted to our warranty company. Um, the warranty company and the shop have been coordinating back and forth. I think we're getting closer, but I'm still fingers crossed that we can have that back by Memorial Day weekend, the last weekend of May for our first family vacation of the summer. All right, you guys, we got McKinley off to dance and tumbling, and now I am headed out with Dakota and Carson to the Battle of the Books. I was supposed to be going to cheer tonight, but mom duties, right? Gotta be there to support my boys. Code is going to be watching. <laughs> Later, home. You're gonna hang out with Cohen and Tiny and then yeah. go pick up Ken when she's done? Sure am. Sounds good, love you. Busy life. Busy. Um, just strap up for the next three weeks because it's going to be... They know. We talked about it. It's going to be chaos. Hey, Mom. But it's going to be fun. Hey, what? Did you have a good nap? Yeah, I'm not What? Actually not. It's actually Slurpee? Yeah. Cool. All right, guys. I just picked up little Kinley. How was dance? Good. And tumbling. Hi, baby. Yeah. <laughs> First thing she gets home and she takes her... What's that called? 
her beam out. And my mask. Practicing more. Also, we got Star Wars playing because, I mean, May the 4th be with you. Happy May the 4th, everyone. Whew, you guys, my eyeballs are tired. In a moment. <laughs> Let's try that again. My eyes are so tired, you guys. I know it's partly because I was up at 4.30 and then partly because I just have ultra sensitive eyes. If you guys haven't been able to tell that from our vlogs in the last five years, they're just sensitive, sensitive little guys. But it was an incredible day. It was so much fun. Dakota and Carson both had a blast at the Battle of the Books. They both took second place. I was laughing so hard during Carson's. It was hilarious. But you guys, it was an amazing day. Cody and the kids watched Star Wars here at home. Kinley had so much fun at dance. But you guys, we love you so much. We hope you had an incredible day and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. There is a big, <laughs> there's a big Battle of the Books. Um, oh yeah.